your name and website or whatever? No, he's trying to videotape this. Maybe he should wait for that. I'll wait. Oh, yeah, okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming. My name is Jerol Bassett. My company is uh, Ballard Biofuels. Today I would like to speak about bio-based lubricants, technology for the 21st century. Now everybody's heard about biodiesel because the media has put it everywhere. Biodiesel, biodiesel, biodiesel. Everybody's been focused on fuel. And there's been zero discussion concerning bio-based lubricants. Once you realize that over a hundred million gallons, I say again, a hundred million gallons of hydraulic fluid leaks on North American soil every year and becomes a concern. And once you realize that effect, you realize that bio-based lubricants are a critical component along with biofuels and biodiesel in reducing our carbon footprint with the passing of the our ecological capital, federal because what good is your house if you burn it down and you can't give it to the kids? Um, the nice thing about biolubricants, they have a super high viscosity index. Because of that, they don't evaporate. They keep your pressure systems together. And when your pressure systems together, you have more lubricity or a lubricant on load-bearing surfaces. So you have cooler operating motors. So before we even get into the fuel consideration, let's start with a more higher performing lubricant so the operation temperature of the motor is less, so you use less fuel. Now move, moving, moving forward at no other time in history have bio-based lubricants been more needed than now with all that's going on with global warming. Uh, our resolve is simple to create a bio-lubricant solution that is both sustainable and of high quality. With the passing of the 2002 Federal Farm Security and Rural Investment Act, the federal government has opened the bio-based lubricant marketplace. It has mandated that every federally funded institution purchase bio-based lubricants to the maximum extent practical. Bio-based lubricants are obtainable from renewable resources, which is the wonderful thing, because that's what we're here about. They're also recyclable, uh, and they also are biodegradable. With 100 million gallons leaking on our, on our ecological capital, would it be nice if a significant portion of that was pulled into the system and then biodegrading instead of just sitting there year in and year out to be built upon? Uh, in addition, as I talked about, the super high viscosity index allows it to perform at higher rates. So what that does, it provides decrease in maintenance costs, increase in performance. We here at Ballard Biofuel support the agricultural and marine industries with our ecological capital being our farmland, with our ecological capital being our waterways. From now on, hydraulic leaks won't have to damage the environment. Uh, we also have, we also support uh, the industry or transportation. With, with the bus systems, with large equipment for earth moving, with every type of industrial uh, combustion motor has a fluid system. These fluid systems can operate better, and when they do leak, I mean, if you ever see the trash man go by and you see those hydraulic systems pressing in that trash, I mean, there's no business older than trash because we're always going to make it. So we got to do something with it. When you have systems that collect that trash and they leak, I don't know if you know how many garbage trucks leak now and then, and they have reserves of over 200 gallons on each garbage truck that passes through your neighborhood. So the bottom line, decreased maintenance, increased performance on a scale this size is significant. Our bio-consciousness also goes into our fuel conditioners. Now you can save fuel and reduce your emissions all on a bio-platform and protecting the planet. Uh, some of the other benefits of biohydraulics and biotransmission fluids are energy-conserving formula for the very reason of their super high viscosity nature. Uh, Zinc-free additives. I don't know if you ever put a zinc strip on the top of your house to kill the moss. Zinc takes moisture out of ecological systems. Uh, environmentally non-toxic, again, one's very important, and extremely low volatility levels uh, increases flash and fire safety. What that means 
is in, in closed systems, you're not going to have an ignition that could be not only a biohazard, but a, you know, a hazard to the person burning them up. Bottom line, we have the solution today. Ballard Biofuels is the West Coast leader in biolubricant technology. We have relationships in Eastern Washington with our agro complex out there, Central Washington Biodiesel and Steve Verhey. We also have relationships principally been in California with Abundant Biofuels and Dr. Charles Fischel and also Pacific Biodiesel in uh, Santa Cruz, California with Paul Newkirk. Our bio diesel focus is, is, is for the community, it's for the industry, and it's to leave something behind when it's all said and done. Any questions at this time, I'd be happy to answer them. Go ahead. Gear toward anybody, anywhere, anytime, from fleets down to mom and pop passenger car and motor vehicles. Right now, you can buy my product, go to Jiffy Lube and change it. Done. You can buy it online at BallardBioFuels.com. I can give you my card. You can buy it principally direct, and we've opened up distribution channels with existing fuel suppliers that I've noted in California and eastern Washington, hitting the agro complex and hitting, you know, the fifth largest economy in the world needs it as we matriculate north. Please, please, any questions? <laughs> Go ahead. Can you use biolubricants in electric cars? Absolutely. I just learned myself a little bit about electric cars, and pretty much their function is all electrically driven, but they do have hydraulic systems for braking. Also found out that the, uh, the gearing system of the car gears down, so you don't need to use brakes as much. Would, and, then, and because of that, brake life on electric cars lasts twice as much. Wouldn't it be nice to quadruple that with a fluid that would perform? and be a non-hazard. Uh, cost, cost comparison is simple. Buying a bio-based lubricant is equivalent to buying a synthetic, equivalent, uh, synthetic lubricant but not receiving the bio component. Right now I sell it uh, 12, 15 bucks a quart. Uh, at the show I got it for $10 a quart. It's buying a synthetic but never getting the non-toxicity. So people are buying it now and just not knowing it. They're not getting the value. Please, I entertain all interests. <laughs> if there is none at this time, thank you for your time, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll turn the, uh, the microphone back to our, our uh, Danielle Bucky. Thank you very much.